Hey, welcome to the video. If you have plans on moving here, you better be ready for a rude awakening because living in San Diego is quite expensive. Today, we're gonna to talk about the cost of living in San Diego. Where else in the country would making a household income of just under $100,000 a year be considered low income? Well, that's San Diego. And quite honestly, we have some of the most expensive housing here in the United States. For example, our median home price here in San Diego is going to range a little bit over that $700,000 mark for a single family residence. Now, throughout the county, you can get homes that are below that, but what you're going to sacrifice are location, lot size, and square footage. And what I mean by that is you'll probably be choosing a condominium, townhome, or something of that sort rather than a single family residence if you wanna to try to get below that $700,000 median home price. Now, some of the most expensive areas throughout San Diego County are gonna be areas, most of them being in North County. Um, for example, Del Mar, Solana Beach, and then, you know, obviously Coronado is an exclusive area of San Diego County. Those areas are gonna average anywhere from the 1.7 to $2 million plus range um, home price. The average rents throughout San Diego County for let's say a just a standard one bedroom apartment you're looking around $2,400 a month so overall according to the national average San Diego is definitely in that top 5% tier of the most expensive places to live within the United States. Now if we take that on a California scale if you look at the Bay Area, for example, or you're looking at Los Angeles or comparing larger cities throughout California, San Diego is going to be the cheaper of the big three being San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego County. So living here in San Diego, as far as California goes, is the less expensive option. Overall, in the United States, it's the most expensive option. Now, with that comes monthly utilities. Although our weather is perfect pretty much year round, our utilities are gonna run pretty much on par with the national average. Now, they're a little bit more than the San Francisco area, but a little bit less than the Los Angeles area. Mainly that's because of climate. You know, uh, San Francisco, the Bay Area, tends to stay a little bit cooler. So throughout the year, you're not really running your AC in the summer. Um, it's a little more mild as far as um, the summers go, but the winter you'll be running your heat or have fireplaces. LA tends to be a little bit hotter um, throughout the entire year, uh, more so than San Diego County. So you can expect to have your AC on, the heater on in the winter because it does get pretty cool there as well. Here in San Diego, similar to the Bay Area, we have a very mild weather, it's, you know, 73 degrees on average throughout the year. We will get those weeks where it dips down into the 40s or so. In the winter time, that's when you'll kick on the heater. Otherwise, you can plan on just opening the windows to cool off during the summer months. If you're a little bit more inland of San Diego, kind of, you know, Escondido area and whatnot, or Poway, the inland part of San Diego County, you can expect the temperatures to rise there, mainly because the, the sea breeze doesn't quite reach that far in with all the you know hills and terrain. Ultimately, you can look at an average utility bill of around $140 to $190 a month, which is pretty much on par with the national average. Cost of food, being that it is a you know place to visit and all the tourists like to come here in the summertime, the restaurants know that and the tourists flock to the beautiful areas like the beaches, the hills, the great views, the sunny, shiny weather. So any restaurants that capture that aspect of San Diego County are gonna have the more pricey foods. Roughly, you could be looking at anywhere from 20 to $30 a plate for a nice restaurant. So let's just call it $27 on average. I will tell you, however, North County having a lot of farmland, our produce seems to be a little bit cheaper than, than other counties throughout California, for example, Orange County or LA County. So if you're kind of comparing, you know, San Diego with LA or the Bay Area, I think personally that it's a little bit cheaper here. You know, having grown up in Orange County, now seeing the prices down here in San Diego County, I like to think that maybe some of those costs carry over to us consumers, but ultimately what we're looking at is 
nationally, San Diego is going to experience a roughly a 7% higher produce rate than the national average. And simply that just boils down to taxes. Speaking of taxes, we are still in beautiful California, the land of sunshine and tax. So we'll just call it the sunshine tax. You fucking crazy man. You sound insane. Do you realize that? Throughout California, you know, it's all high taxes. That's no secret. But in San Diego specifically, you can look to spend roughly a combined sales tax rate of 7.75%. And that's at the time of this recording, which is pretty high. If you take it in terms of a national average in California, it's about average. All right, the old famous gas prices. And I'm talking about fueling your car. If you're not one of the Tesla goers or the electric vehicle early adopters expect to pay quite a bit our average price per gallon right now is around the 394 dollars a gallon it definitely can creep up towards that five dollars a gallon so if you don't have an electric vehicle look to be paying you know roughly two three hundred dollars a month in fuel costs you know san diego as a whole is pretty spread out so Commuting on public transportation is not a really viable option in terms of reliability. Unfortunately, San Diego does not have the best public transit, especially if you're outside of San Diego Metro. If you're downtown, it's a little bit better, but still pretty costly, not always on time, not always reliable. But with the spread out nature of San Diego County and there's only 6.3% of San Diegoans that do not own a car. So pretty much everyone owns a car due to that commutability. You, you kind of just need a car anywhere you go. is going to be around 20 minutes or so. That's just because simply traffic. So plan wisely. If, if you are, you know, money conscious and you want to save a little bit of money, you might want to consider one of those electric vehicle options or a hybrid or something a little more fuel efficient other than a big old truck or something maybe. If, as far as employers go throughout San Diego County, the largest employer is gonna be the US Navy. And you know there's multiple military bases throughout the entire county. Other than that, you're gonna find a lot of tech or electronic companies, for example, Sonya, Qualcomm, a few other big ones. I know Google's relocating or putting a facility down here in San Diego as well. You might want to check with your employer. Maybe you can save some gas prices by, you know, having a home office. With it all encompassed, San Diego County is going to be one of the most expensive places to live in within the United States. It's no secret, but it's a beautiful place to live. So we'll just call everything here the cost of living in San Diego County the price of the beautiful sunshine tax. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it. So if you got any value from this video, please smash that thumbs up button. It helps spread the video throughout YouTube. Comment down below if you are curious on any other costs or what it's like living here within San Diego. I'd love to hear your feedback. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet and this is your first time to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button and tap that bell notification so you're alerted every time I do upload a new video here to the channel and you'll be able to get that valuable information as soon as it goes live. But again, thanks for visiting. I'll see you on the next video on what it's like to live here in San Diego County.